Okay, so the last shop update of 2015. So this year has gone by super, super quickly and it's been really fun to be able to work on so many different types of projects and so many videos. And this is actually the first complete year that I've been on YouTube full time. And I just want to thank, you know, everybody so much who have been commenting and sharing and interacting. Some people have written me really nice emails and then there are some people who even write really nice letters. So I just want to take a moment and really say thank you to everybody out there. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much. So I'm really excited about the new year. Um, I love a fresh start. There's always something so crisp and wonderful about it. So I've been planning for a lot of new projects and one of the things that I actually just did was take apart my camera rig that I built. Now the camera rig has been great. However, I'm going to make a few improvements based on how I use it and my space. That's often why I prefer to not glue projects together like this one, because then they're really easy to take apart. You simply remove the screws. I think sometimes you have to take out some functionality to make it more useful for how you use it. Now building a new rig is going to be a part of an upcoming project which I'm really looking forward to. Of course, when you're in the process of cleaning and organizing and changing things, that's a really good time to go and sharpen all your chisels and your planes. And of course, after my Christmas rush of making mallets, um, I really had to go back and work on pretty much all of them. So I have a few water stones that I use and that I first soak in water and then I bring out my bench hook for support. In addition to the chisels, I like to sharpen the blades of the plane that I use a lot, as well as the spoke shape. So taking the plane apart, I start with working on the flat back side and starting with a coarser grit and then moving up higher, making sure to keep the stone wet. Then once the backs are done, I turn them around and do the angle. Now for most of the chisels, I prefer to just hold the angle by hand like this. However, when I have a chisel with a chip in it or something I know needs a lot of work, then I like to use a honing guide and it basically just keeps a consistent angle. And then uh, cleaning them up and checking everything over. Let me tell you, having sharp tools makes a world of difference when you actually want to work on projects, so it's time well spent. Now, another thing that I've been meaning to talk about for some time now is my table saw stand. So let's go out there. So one of the most frequently asked questions I get is about this table saw stand. And if you have a small uh, table saw like this, then building some sort of stand or enclosure around it uh, is extremely useful because it makes it easier to use, not to mention safer since it won't tip over. Okay, so how I built this. First, I made a platform uh, that is 12 inches high and that measures four by three feet. Then I built structures up around that. So starting with uh, the table saw here, and this is bolted down to make sure that it, you know, it stays in place. <laughs> and then I built these other sections like more loosely around that. I also added blocking on this side and on the backing to prevent the sawdust from going everywhere, as well as the space underneath for capturing the sawdust. Um, this whole unit is, let's see, yeah, it's 37 inches. Uh, high, which I have found to be uh, a really good height. Key point here is that these surfaces here are 1 16th inch lower than the table saw, so that nothing gets stuck uh, when moving around. Now, when building this, I wanted a nice workspace for cutting plywoods and things like that, as well as doing other things on. Uh, I also wanted shelving to store some things, space for the sawdust underneath here, as well as space for a shop vac and hose uh, on this side. And that has worked out uh, really great. But also when I did the top here, I realized after putting the table saw in that I needed space when I moved the fence over for the rails here. So I had to cut that out uh, after the fact. But yeah, this whole unit is primed, the top is painted, and it has held up really well considering it's basically outside, but you know, with the roof over here. Um, so yeah, I could, would highly recommend doing this if you are in a similar situation.
So in addition to making things with wood, I really love to integrate different kinds of materials, one of which is stamp making. Uh, so let me just show you real quick what I did for this year's Christmas cards. I love making stamps. Stamps are so cool. So making your own cards is always fun. This year I decided to play around with some stamps, so I used some letter stamps that I had on hand and brought out my box of my own stamps that I've carved. Linoleum is probably the most common type of material to carve out, however I really prefer softer carving blocks. They're a little easier to use. It's easy to want to go overboard with prints, but less is more, right? I also put my Swedish holiday wax stamp on each card, however it seems like the postal press wasn't too kind on it, as it seems to have fallen off most cards, so now I know that for next year. But it's always nice to send cards out, and it's always fun to make your own. Well, like many of you know, I do a weekly vlog for my patrons over at Patreon, and uh, where I kind of go over what I'm thinking about, what I'm working on, that kind of thing. And I've ordered these massive heat sinks. A box? So, with this brand new year ahead of us, I've decided to open up the weekly vlogs to all levels on Patreon. For that, you get access to all of my vlogs and all my future upcoming ones as well. And I've just been kind of thinking about this whole uh, vlogging concept, and I really want to play with it more and really have some more fun with it and uh, think about, yeah, really give a kind of good view behind the scenes. So, I'm really kind of looking forward to to working on that as well. So if you're interested in that, make sure to go and check out my Patreon page uh, and there will be a link in the description below. So since this is the last shop update of 2015, maybe I should go over some of my goals for 2016. Okay, so project direction. Well, I love woodworking, uh, but I really want to integrate some more like function into the woodworking project. So more electronics and more programming uh, and that kind of idea. And I also like to make projects that feel like really finished, like something you might want to buy in a store. Sometimes th those take a little bit longer to work on, um, but that's kind of the direction I think I'm going in. Am I going to do more podcasts? Yes. Got off track there a little bit. Working on that one. Organization. I guess one of my continual goals is to organize the shop even better. And it's always kind of funny going back into all the videos and then you can see how much has really changed this year. I mean, this has changed. That has changed. This has changed. That has changed. A lot of things have changed. Organization is something that never really ends. It's an ongoing process. So um, yeah, my goal is definitely to fix this space up even more, really fix up the tinker area. And I've got little spots here and there that I want to improve as well. So looking forward to that. Carport. Another one of my goals is to partially enclose the carport uh, because I would like to block some of the wind, some of the wind driven rain and just kind of make that whole space a little bit more protected and comfortable from the elements. Well, it's interesting how you really have to be proactive when you work outside. You have to prime and paint everything. Uh, recently, I made a couple of paddles for you know, the jointer and for the router table as well. And I forgot to paint them because I made them earlier in the summer and I didn't think about it. And I hadn't used them for a little bit and they're all moldy. So I had to throw them away. So you have to really be on top of things, prime, paint, wax, and just make sure that no water gets on anything. But yeah, otherwise, uh, I'm just excited about the new year, about the new projects, about the videos, uh, about all of it. I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to it so much. And I just want to thank you guys so much for being there, for watching. And um, I'll see you guys in the new year. Bye. Hopefully it's a while to get it right.